this weekend, a big time fight to kick off the card, UFC 283, we have a clash of styles, I dug deep in the record collection to think of the biggest clash of styles of records that I have, it's like if you had Ghost going up against Charlie Pride, Charlie Pride who named this album Charlie Pride's 10th album, I like Charlie Pride's country music, I think that one came in between the 9th and the 11th, it, sure I, I'd say it did, but if you look at this one Matt, we have the grappler in Paul Craig representing Scotland, you have Ireland's Brazilian Johnny Walker, the absolute walking wild man, and his last time out, I never would have thought he was going to submit Yuan Kutsela, but my goodness, did he ever do that in the first round? Now, is Johnny Walker now like, you know, man about town and he's going to go out there and submit Paul Craig? I certainly hope he doesn't. But in a matchup like this, Matt, for Paul Craig, his last time out, he did what got him to the dance against Volkan Uzdemir. He went 0 of 15 takedown attempts and landed 26% of his significant strikes. And he was almost in Nick Serra takedown category of like butt scooting his way to a loss. He looked, he lost a ton of stock in his last fight. I don't know if you just consider that like it's all Did his fights. Did he know? Because that's how he fight. always fights. Because that's the thing. Like if Paul Craig can't get the takedown, he's going to look bad. If he gets the takedown, he's going to look really good. Like I got to be honest. I don't think we learned anything off the last fight, positive or negative. We ju They are who we thought they were. I forget who said that quote, but that's a very famous Coach football. Coach the Cardinals. One. There you go. But for Paul Craig, he is who we think he is. Claudio Poyes. Paul Craig, not Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is awesome on the feet, but you get the idea. Like there is a boatload of fighters out there who have poor wrestling, which is weird because they're such good grapplers. Uh, decent striking because there is a bit of a level to this. Like the thing with Paul Craig is every now and then he'll throw like a three punch combo where you're like, damn, where did that come from? Hit but, squad boxing. But then the problem is he won't really sustain that for any point throughout the fight because he is so dedicated to the grappling. So it's really hard for him to get a rhythm with his striking when he is so grapple oriented. But what I will say about Johnny Walker, maybe we didn't learn a ton about him either in the Kutalaba fight, but at least we saw a wrinkle of his game that isn't often utilized. And that is nice to see because for Johnny Walker, the conversation is, hey, it is highlight real knockout win or highlight real knockout loss for the most part. But for Walker, he has seemed to start fleshing out the game a little bit. And now maybe I'm even going to bring up the loss he had to Tiago Santos as a bit of a positive because I thought at least in that fight he didn't just go balls to the wall and although he did lose he didn't get mopped he didn't get outclassed he just fought a very cautious fight against a guy who is and, dangerous and, and that, I just think that that might be a positive thing for a guy who is as reckless as Johnny Walker can and be that was the SBG fight that was Johnny Walker's gone to SBG's kind of planted roots John Kavanaugh and Kavanaugh's cornering was kind of like well you know we think you're up so we'll go from there and then John, fight. John Kavanaugh and Johnny Walker's last fight had to take the video outside of the casino because Johnny Walker was in his trunks just walking around they kicked him out the man won a $50,000 performance bonus for beating John if Johnny Walker wins this fight against Paul Craig, do they go, hey, Streets of Rio, here you go. Here's Johnny Walker. Have fun. I think he'd be a celebrity. He would have, could you imagine him dancing like the aerial footage? It'd be wild. It but would be. You consider it for Walker before his last fight. It was my big point. I picked Kutsalaba to win, but I said, Walker's been training with an Olympic wrestler in Riyadh Ayuafi as a coach over at SBG. That's going to help out. But again, I never thought he'd submit him in a million years. But for Walker, we know it out of his striking. He's long, he's rangy, he has a six inch reach advantage in this fight, and he has two and a half inches in height. It might even be more, who knows? I know he married a lady from Ireland, so again, the Let's roots are strong for Johnny Walker. A we have worldly a, man. We have a couple of guys representing Western Europe. But when you look at this fight, though, Matt, again, the striking out of Walker, will he get pinned down by Paul Craig? We'll see. But I look at this fight as it's just like when Nikita Krylov fought Paul Craig. Is Johnny Walker going to go out there Jamal Hill too, yeah. and hammer away on him and then just kind of forget what he's doing and get kind of baited into the ground game? Or will it be Paul Craig, like what Krylov was able to do against Johnny Walker, take him down, hold him down, and that's the, the majority of the fight? I would rarely say Nikita Krylov has like the best fight IQ of all time. I would say that's really his Achilles heel that holds him back, if anything. But for Walker, it is kind of wild. Like, I think he has worse fight IQ than Nikita Krylov, but I still like him in this matchup. Because for Walker, we have seen him at least defensively with his footwork be able to avoid some of the takedowns, and that's what I do think is going to be important. Not just the fact that he can dig under hooks and he's a big physical guy, he uses his footwork in the light heavyweight division. And against a guy like Paul Craig, who is good at going for takedowns. See, I didn't say he's a good wrestler, because he's not. Like, Paul Craig's not a guy like Chael Sonnen who's going to, like, push you through the cage and keep on going. He's going to go for an orthodox trips he's gonna get a little sneaky with it and i think stuff like that is going to get thwarted by the footwork of johnny walker i think it's gonna be really hard to pin walker down and when it comes to who's the better striker on the feet 
I think your grandmother, who's never watched a fight before, could probably tell you who the better striker is between these two guys. Johnny Walker is so much more fluid on the feet, especially from the outside, that I don't really know what Paul Craig's going to be able to do in terms of striking to really be able to dampen some of the explosiveness that Johnny Walker has. Paul Craig on that run, the four wins, three performance bonuses, one against Antigulov, one against Hill, one against Krylov, and he also beat Shogun Hua into submission due to his strikes. He also had her submission of the year 2022, the win that he had over Nikita Krylov. Matt, again, Craig ranked ninth in this division. Johnny Walker at number 12. We'll have a look at the topology vote. Surprise to us as they are to you. I'm going to say over under 75% Johnny Walker. I think they'll be over. I think people are low on Craig after the last one. And and look at that. So 1,010 total votes, 51% Walker, 80% by knockout for the 49% that have Craig, 77% by submission. And before Paul Craig's fight against uh, Volkan Uzdemir, like he was in that 75% category, the fans going with him to get the win. On our Instagram page on this one, 52% have Johnny Walker, 48% have Paul Craig to get the win. So who do you have in this one? Because the fans have it lined really close. If Paul Craig takes him down, Paul Craig's going to win by submission. But again, I can say that in any single Paul Craig fight he has ever had in his whole entire life. Like he is of the level of one hit, one kill jiu-jitsu. We talked about it before with Tiago Moises. And that's why it is difficult to predict a Paul Craig fight because it can all be going so wrong for him until it looks good I just don't know what he's going to do on the in-between. So for that reason, could Paul Craig win by submission? That's why I kind of snickered at the topology votes. I couldn't agree more. Like, Johnny Walker's probably going to win by knockout, or Paul Craig's probably going to win by some crazy come-from-behind submission. I'll pick Johnny Walker, because I think he can do more on the in-betweens if this does end up going to a scorecard uh, type of situation. But I do have Johnny Walker in this one. Johnny Walker with Owen Roddy and John Kavanaugh working the strike him from the outside. I think Johnny Walker's going to win this fight. And as a callback, Matt... Charlie Pride's ninth album, because he posted all of the album names on the back of this album, was not his ninth album. It was uh, Just Plain Charlie Pride. Or sorry, Just Plain Charlie by Charlie Pride. The amount of furniture that probably got moved to that soundtrack. The tenth album. No, I really do actually like Charlie Pride. My favorite song on this one is There's Nobody home I don't to go home get to what i meant when i said some sad over. songs by charlie pride matt some big time fights on this card both of us going with walker in the matchup let us know who you have in this fight and in our next one we have one of the greatest women's mma fighters of all time Jess Kondrash taking on one of the greatest stories of all time in lauren murphy you're going to want to make sure you tune into that keep it locked in with fight night picks we always say let's get into it